Inspirational Creatives, Episode 4. Welcome to Inspirational Creatives. I'm your host, Rob Lawrence. Join me every Friday as I chat with successful artists, producers, and creative entrepreneurs who share powerful stories and strategies. They can help you to create the life that you want. Listen each week as these inspirational creatives show you how to take your creativity to the next level. You'll learn how to create a sustainable business that inspires others and gives you the financial freedom and lifestyle that you want. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe in iTunes and sign up at inspirationalcreatives.com to get free exclusive bonus material. And now on with the show. Welcome to episode four of Inspirational Creatives. I'm your host, Rob Lawrence, and in this short episode, I'm hoping to inspire you into action by taking some of the inspirational ideas that Pam presented in episode three. In that episode, Pam shared some inspiring thoughts on how to stop worrying about finding what your purpose is by focusing on the interests that you already have. In case you haven't had a chance to listen to that episode yet, here's a clip to get you started. I begin by asking Pam about that passion and purpose thing. I can't help but thinking about the song, That Thing. Is it by Lauren Hill, I think? So when you said that thing, that was the one thing that kept going in my head. (laughs) Well, that thing is probably the biggest thing that will derail creativity and forward progress in my experience of many years coaching people is where you believe that you have to find your purpose before you can take action. I highly encourage you to challenge that assumption. And there's a couple reasons. One of them is because I rarely have found people, they definitely exist and it's fantastic for them, but there's rarely people who can articulate a one singular life purpose. For most people, at different stages of life, different things are relevant and important. So in that clip, we learned that looking for purpose before taking action is probably the biggest obstacle to your success. In which case, it might be worth considering Pam's idea of challenging the assumption that we need to find purpose before we take action. People who can articulate a singular purpose in life are rare. For most people at different stages in life, different things are relevant and important. Begin by asking yourself, what's really important to you today? That might give you a clue as to what your purpose is in life right now. Pam explores a little further by talking about roots. In body of work, I talk about it in terms of your roots, plural. So we can have many roots, many things that anchor us to our work that give us meaning. So, you know, beliefs and values that we have, passions. And yes, it's helpful to have some kind of emotional anchor in order for you to build the foundation of whatever is work that you want to do. But very often through the creation of work, is where you figure out what's really important to you. Pam makes an important point there that you can find what's important to you through the creation of work. What might be helpful if you want to feel more excited and motivated about your work is to find work that has some personal significance to you. Pam explains. I think people tend to be more motivated and interested and better at what they do when they find it has personal significance and it generally is of interest to them. I mean, that just makes sense, right? If you enjoy doing something, if you feel like doing that thing has a bigger purpose in the world, you are more likely to do it better and to be more excited when you do it. So finding work that makes you excited is a good step to finding a purpose that has personal significance to you. Before we wrap up, Pam explains that not every passion has to become a business or your life purpose. In fact, that could end up in disaster. Does every passion need to end up in a business? Can you monetize every passion? No. And that's been the road to emotional disaster and financial ruin for many people who just say, all you need is passion. Well, it's not true, especially when you're starting a business. You need a market and you need people who will pay you and you need a sustainable ongoing business model. So to summarize today, not every passion can become a business. However, work that interests and motivates you is more likely to help you find your purpose in life. Depending on what's happening in your life right now, that could mean something different. As Pam said, through the creation of work, you can find out what's important to you. I'd encourage you to go deeper by taking a look at the episode notes for this short episode on inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash podcast. Look for episode four. Also, have a listen to Pam and everything she had to say in episode three. Thanks for listening. Nothing beats the stories and advice of an expert to help you raise your creative game. I would love to know what you thought about today's episode, so don't forget to subscribe in iTunes where you can rate and review the show. 
your review is the best way for other people to find us i might even give you a mention if you like this episode i invite you to share it on facebook or twitter with the one person you know who will benefit from the wisdom shared here today you can find the show notes on inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash podcast if you have a burning question or a great idea for a guest head on over to inspirationalcreatives.com forward slash contact where you can connect with me there Join me in episode five this Friday when I'll be speaking with Joshua Becker from becomingminimalist.com about how you can pursue your interests by creating more space in your life first. 